ಶುಕ್ಲಾಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿಚಾರ ಸಾರ ಪರಮಾಧ್ಯಾನ್ ಜಗದ್ವ್ಯಾಪಿಣಾ ಪುಸ್ತಕಧಾರಿಣೀಮಾಂಜಾಡ್ಯಾಂಧಕಾರಾಪಸ್ಪಾಟಿಕಾಂಧತಿ ಪದ್ಮಾಸನೇ ಸಂಸ್ಥಿ ವಂದೇ ತಾಂ ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರೀ ಭಗವತೀ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಪ್ರದ ಶಾರದ ನತ್ವಾಸರಸ್ವತೀಂ ದೇವೀಂ ಶುದ್ಧಾಂಗುಣ್ಯಾಂಕರೋಮ್ಯಹಂ ಪಾಣಿನೀಯ ಪ್ರವೇಶಾಯ ಲಘು ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತ ಕೌಮುದಿ so we were looking at vidoshon kya paraha but in the section of ajanta napunsaka linga so we began ajanta napunsaka linga we saw atom ajanta dangat klebat that is ajanta dangat napunsaka somor am so somor am ami purva ha samoho has anurutti here and samo am so adanta anga <coughs> su and am in the prathama and dvitiya ekochana am is the adesha in nakunsaka linga for su and am so am is replaced by am and in the dvitiya ekochana and in the prathama ekochana su is replaced by am that's why you get jnanam jnanam jnani jnanani and then again jnanam in the second case singular napunsakaccha aungha shi aungha shi aung is uh, prathama and dvitiya dvivachana au and out so these pratyas are replaced by shi when they follow napunsaka anga so klibad aungha shi syat bha sanyayam so bha sanyayam we saw particularly why it is interpreted that way and then what happens content of she is e because lashakvat taddhite tasya lopa they will take away shakara then jnana and e guna you will get guna so jnanam uh, jnane jnanani <coughs> i'm sorry so we saw these jasya so she she sarva sarvanamasthanam swadish asurna asarvanamasthane padam ಸ್ವಾಧಿಸ್ವಸರ್ವನಾಮಸ್ಥಾನೆ ಪದಂ ಯಚಿ ಭಂ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಭ ಸಂಜ್ಞಾ ಸೊ ಯ ಎಂಡ್ ಅ ದಿಸ್ ಯಕಾರ ಎಂಡ್ ಅಚ್ ದೇ ಮೇಕಪ್ ಯಚ್ ಸೊ ಯಚಿ ಪರೆ ಸುವಾದಿಷು ಸ್ವಾದಿಷು ಅಸರ್ವನಾಮಸ್ಥಾನೆ ಪದ ಸಂಜ್ಞಾ ಭವತಿ ಕಿಂತು ಯಚಿ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಯಕಾರಾದಿ ಪ್ರತ್ಯೇ ಪರೆ ಅಜಾದಿ ಪ್ರತ್ಯೇ ಪರೆ ಚ ಭ ಸಂಜ್ಞಾ ಭವತಿ among them itself among those which are called angas which have been called as pada now they become bha so they are carved out so sir one part is sarvanamasthana another part broadly is asarvanamasthana then asarvanamasthana also in that uh, uh, swadishu asarvanamasthana they get pada sanya all the asarvanamasthana get pada sanya not asarunamasthana but asarunamasthane pare so in that in that or when the that kind of pratyay is following the anga gets pada sanya and then out of that anga which has got pada sanya bha is carved out so what has got bha sanya now they lose the pada sanya because akadara eka sanya and then yasyeti cha yasyeti cha is in the anga adhikara and especially in the bhasya adhikara so bhasya ಭಸ್ಯ ಅಂಗಸ್ಯ ಲೋಪ ಭವತಿ ಕದಾ ಯಸ್ಯತಿ ಚೀತಿ ಚಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಪದಚ್ಛೇದ ಈ ವರ್ಣ ಅವರ್ಣ ಇಕಾರಾಕಾರ ಸಂಧಿ ಈಸ್ ಎಣ ಸಂಧಿ ಸೊ ಯರ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡ್ಸ್ ಇ ಆಂಡ್ ಅ ಆಂಡ್ ಇ ಆಂಡ್ ಅ ಇನ್ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಸೂತ್ರ ದೇ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದೇರ್ ಆಲ್ ದಟ್ ದೇ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಅ ಆ ಇತ್ಯಾದಿ ಸೊ ಅ ಇ ಆಲ್ ದಿ divisions are included there and then kadare taddhite cha pare bhasya ivarna avarnayoho ivarna avarnayoho lopaha syat iti allope prapte this is the allopa prapta there but then he there is a anga shyam pratishedo vachya is a vartika thereby here if we knew nothing else we would have made jnane anyway because that's the only sandhi we know but then 
Yes, see, this here tells you that if this is bha, and why is it bha? Because it is Napunsakalinga, and in Napunsakalinga, uh, she is Sarvanamastana, and she is just sensuous, which is Prathama Bhuvachana and Dvitiya Bhuvachana. Therefore, Prathama Dvivachana and Dvitiya Dvivachana, au, which is called as au, au and out, they are to be, uh, they are bhasanya. The Anga there is bhasanya. And if it is bhasanya, why? Because it is Asarunamasthana and it is Ajadi. So, thereby Yashibham, it is Asarunamasthana and it is the sthana where au and out are achi, achi pare. They, they are Ajadi Pratyas and being Ajadi Pratyas in Asarunamasthana, they get bhasanya. And having got bhasanya, yaseti cha is applicable, thereby lopa is applicable. Iti allope prapte sati. When this situation arises, because we now know better that it carries a bhasanya, the anga, and no longer can you do guna because bha adhikara tells you, bhasya adhikara tells you that allopa has to be done. Yase iti cha lopa syat. Avarna ivarna yo lopasyat. However, there is a vartika which says aunga shyam pratishedo vachya. So, uh, thereby pratisheda bhasya allopasya pratisheda vachya should have been said and it is known. See, vartikas are deriving from what Bhagavan uh, Panini Maharshi has said elsewhere. In other sutras, if we have a broad perspective which we don't have really, if we know all the sutras, then vartikas are understood as being within the sutras themselves because he will have hinted in another case by some derivation, by some sutra, by including a word in a sutra which uh, without which the sutra would have been valid. But he spent so many ardhaksharas to make, uh, additionally put another word, thereby they derive that Maharshi meant that in such cases this is the apavada. Thereby, Vartikas are derived from Sutras themselves. They are, so, we should not think that Sutras are not complete because Sutra definition itself is like that. They are complete. They, they are flawless. So, Aunga Shyam Pratishedo Vachya, he should have said it. He didn't say it because it can be derived by those who have studied everything. Those who have not studied everything, they take support of Vartika. And we study these Vartikas because we study a subset of Sutras and then we don't know by which rule this Allopa has not been done here, thereby we will say that Aunga Shyam Pratishedo Vachya, some, uh, uh, you know, Katya and all these uh, Rishis are Pramana for us in Vyakrana. This is the prayer that we do, and thereby uh, what they have said, they know better than us as to why it has not to be done because in this case there is a Pratisheda and thereby Guna has, it will fall back to Guna and you will get Jnana, Jnane. Jasya Shoshi, we went so Jasya Shoshi, Napunsakat, Shihi, it is Adesha Bhoti, Napunsakat, Anga. So in Jasana, you will get Jnana plus Shi, Shakar, Lashakot, Taddite, Tassilopa, you will get E, Jnana plus E. Now Jnana plus E, what will happen? Here she is Sarvanamasthana. So here also, if we knew, know better, what we do we do? Just like earlier, we would do Guda. But here you cannot do guna because she is sarvanamasthanam. It is not here. It is sarvanamasthanam. We have to see what happens in sarvanamasthana. Whether it is sarvanamasthana or asarvanamasthana. First, first viveka. Then if it is asarvanamasthana, then pada or bha. This is the second level of viveka. If it is sarvanamasthana, some rules may be applicable. If it is asarvanamasthana and pada, some sandhi rules will be applicable. May be applicable. If it is bha sanyasam. Bhasya Adhikara rule may be applicable. There may be Vartikas which may be uh, bringing Pratisheda for such. All this has to be kept in mind. So we can't just apply Guna directly. And therefore, Shri Sarvanamasthanam is introduced here as a Sanya. So she is Ityetad Ukta Sanyam Syat. Ukta Sanyam Sarvanamasthanam Sanyam Syat. Napun Sakasya Jhala Chaha. So he introduces that sanya and then say napum sakasya jhalla chaha sarvanamasthane num adesha, num agama bhavati. So there is a num agama, makara is it, ukara is it, makara is it by halantyam, ukara is it by uh, uh, upadeshe janunasika it and then tasya lopaha. So both of these will go, content will be nakara, where should it go, vizachuhantyat paraha and in that 
derivation of jnana ni, how we get jnana ni, we saw jnana plus ki, num comes in and when num comes in, where should this num be added to? Jalantasya, ajantasya cha, klibasya, numsya, so sani, sashti sthane yoga, therefore, jalantasya, ajantasya sthane, num agamaha bhavati, so agamaha bhavati atwa syat, so what happens there? Where should you add it? If we knew nothing better, then we add it alontyasya. This is what we know, paribhasha. But midachontyat paraha, if it is myth, then midachontyat paraha, antyat paraha myth, myth, antyat achaha paraha mid agamaha bhavati. Thereby acham madhye yaha antyaha tasmat paraha tasyeva anta avayavaha. Part of that will become, will be myth. Myth, agama will be added to that entity which is the sthani. Where should it be added? It will be added after the last vowel. Antyaha, yaha, acham madhye. If there are multiple vowels in the anga, among the multiple vowels, whichever is the last vowel, whether it is the last letter, second last letter, third last letter, we don't care. We should look for the last vowel, antya ach and yaha antya ach, tesham acham madhye, anganam, angasya acham madhye, not anganam, anga is one. So, angasya acham madhye, yaha antya ach bhavati, tasmat paraha, tasmat paraha kim bhavati, tasmat paraha kaha adesha bhavati, adesha na aga bhavati, myth. This myth which is num, num is myth, it is makara is makaraha it yasmin agame saha agamaha midagamaha tasmat achaha tasmat kasmat acham madhye angasya acham madhye yaha antyaha ach bhavati tasmat achaha paraha eva antavayava means what it will become a part of that set of letters and it will become the part of the angana. If, if, the, if the agama is added to pratya, it will become part of the pratya. You cannot say that pratya was what it was earlier. Now with the, uh, with the agama, it will become the pratya. It will become part of whatever entity it is added to. For example, in arm, arm, arm is shashti uh, bahuvachana supratya. Where there you add Nudagama. So if Nudagama is added, then it becomes Naam. Actually, Ikara is, so, uh, Ikara is there in the Sutra, Nami, Nami Sutra. That Ikara is Saptami Bhuvachana. So Naam becomes Nami, like Marut becomes Maruti in Saptami Ekvachana. So Nami Pare says the Sutra. Nami Pare, something should happen. Angasya, Upada, Dirga, Ityadi. So that Nami Pare is what? Nami, there is no Nam Pratya, Supratya, but Nam is that Supratya only, Aam Pratya has now become Nam Pratya, it is a Nam Pratya, because Nut Agama has become part of that Pratya. Avayavaha, Pratyasya Avayavaha va Angasya Avayavaha, that we have to do Viveka as to where it is added, but Sthani Avayavaha, Sthani Avayavaha Bhavati, Agama, so Mithya, Thereby, where will you apply this now? This jnana plus e. Now here, it will go to the last, after the last vowel. Last letter of jnana is not a, it is the akara after na. So jnana, jnana plus a, that a is the last, last letter itself is the vowel. Therefore, nakara, num agava antargata nakara, what is called as anubandha lopa. So this anubandha lopa, after the anubandha lopa, means the it letters are removed, then you get jnanan. Here you will get e and then uh, this nakara is the, after the anubandha lopa, you will get nakara as the content of num and then you will get jnanan. And jnanan plus e will be jnanani, but there is another sutra which will give you upada dhirgaha. So no upadaya dhirgaha. Sarvanamasthani cha sambuddhau, asambuddhi. Asambuddhi is what? Prathama sambodhana is called as sambuddhi. 
Asambuddhi is everything other than that. So this is Asambuddhi because it is Prathama Bhavachana. <coughs> also, Dvitiya Bhavachana also. <coughs> I'm sorry. So there, you will get. Uh, na upa, this Na Nakarasya Upada. This Nakaranta here, Upada for that is the penultimate letter, the second last letter, and there, this that is Akara, Jnanan. So that O, Jnanan O will get. Dirgha and it will become A. So you get Jnanani. So this is the sum total of what we did last because I don't know how many of you have studied this at least Napun Sakalinga. Napun Sakalinga we did uh, the uh, we did a summary. So now the next sutra is Adad Datara Adibhya Panchabhya Adad Adad not Adad sorry Adad Adad datara divya panchabhya. Adad datara divya panchabhya. Difficult to pronounce. We should not stop also. Adad datara divya panchabhya. That is the sutra. So this sutra says what, what is the padachheda. As I said that I will do the padachheda earlier so that we can go faster. So adad is the adesha. Prasama ekvachana. Datara divya panchabhya bhota. Panchami Bhavachana. Now see in Laghu, those who teach Laghu and those who study Laghu, they don't look at Ashtadhyayi much because this sutra gives them the meaning, they go ahead. But the sutras are out of sequence, that's why you need Vritti. I have told this many times. That's why the study should be with Ashtadhyayi. Laghu is a Prakriya. If you study only the Prakriya and if you don't understand Ashtadhyayi, then every time you will have to have Laghu in your hand. You have to have Laghu book. And Lagu book cannot tell you some other derivation. Some other derivation you are doing, you'll, you'll be, you may be stuck. So you have to find the, we have to be able to make our own vritti. This is how I have been teaching. I may reduce this uh, to pick up speed. But uh, just for refresher, we look at the Sutra Patha and bring the Anuvritti. Anuvritti is not mentioned in Lagu. And through Anuvritti, we should be able to make the basic vritti. That means we have understood the Sutra. Not through Lagu, we have understood the Ashtadhyayi Sutra. Then the Lagu Vritti may or may not be useful. Those who study Lagu, they may, know, may not need Ashtadhyayi, but the limitation of Lagu is that the Sutras are out of sequence and you won't know how this, uh, how this uh, understanding came in. It is like, uh, you know, uh, understanding the meaning of formula without really understanding what it is. A plus B whole square is A square plus B square plus 2AB. How it came into being, we don't know. Those who know, they know math really. Otherwise, you'll be able to solve some things, but not, not with that understanding. So, other is the Adesh, Adesha for Dataradi. Dataradi said, there is a Gana where Datara is the first, uh, may or may not be the first, but starting with Datara. So, in uh, some Gana, Multiple ganas also it may be possible. So datara is there. So datara, datara plus other four will make you make a list of five. So when these five are there, so after that means what? That is the anga. So in datara, what are this? Datara, he is not mentioned here. Uh, but we will see. We will see in his examples. What is the sutra number there? Sutra number is 7125. So you go to 7125. So 7125 Sutra says what now? It says Datara Adibhya Panchabhya. What, what happens here? Adad Adesha. Adad, Adad Adesha. So Adad Adesha Bhavati. After the Datara Ityadi. And there is a Vartika also. We will cover this Vartik also and mark it. Ekatara Pratishedo Vachyaha or Vaktavyaha. So, other than what is the Anurutti here? Nothing here in the immediate vicinity. Seventh chapter started here. So, do you see anything here? Nothing much here. You can't see any Anurutti here. So, see, Samoho. We found Samoho. Go till 26. Our Sutra is 25. So you have the Anuvritti of 
Somoho. Now this has to be added to the Sutra. Somo, uh, Somoho. Just give me a moment. Baraha is off. Hmm. So Somoho. Samoho, the Samoho is what? Here, Abhya, Klebi, Abhya, Samoho, Adadadesha, Sya. So, after Samo is what? Uh, su and Am. So, Shashti Divachana. This is Tani. So, Su and Am are replaced by Adad. Adad. Dakara is it. Dakara, not Dakara. Dakara and Dakara are conjunct here. And Dakara is it, so it's a dith pratya. It's a dith pratya, which is the adesha here. So, abhya, which are these? Uh, let me look up Kashika Vritti to just tell you what these are. Uh, adid. Okay, Kashika Vritti says, Dathra Dibhya Parayos Moho Iti Katarat. So, Katarat, uh, what are these? Anya, Anya, Itarat, Anya, okay. Uh, so it is not covering. So uh, it is not covering the uh, list. It is covering by examples. So they are also the same. So datara, eh, yeah, Balamaranama says datara, datama, anya, anya tara, itara. So these are the five. Which are the five? So let me add this here because it's better if we know here itself as to what are these five, and then I'll just add it here. Which are those five? They are datara, datama, anya, anya, tara, itara. So that got deleted, itara. Okay. So these are the five. Datara, datama, anya, anya, tara, itara. Now anya, anya, tara, itara are words. They are words, they are not pratyas. But datara and datama are pratyas. So this is actually katara. So datara, somehow it is. Katara, this should be Katara because Kim plus Datara, it is not Datara here, Katara. So Datara, Datama, these are Pratyas and when Pratyas are included, then uh, they mean Pratyanta. So whenever Pratya Nirdesha is done, then Pratyanta, that has to be understood there. So Datara Anta and Datama Anta, Ebhe Klebhe Bhyaha, in the Napumsakalinga, when Dataranta Shabda is there or Datamanta Shabda is there, Anga, basically Anga or Anya is there in the Anga, Anya Tara is there or Itara is there, then after these five, these two Pratyantas means a wide variety of words and these three particulars, after them if Su or Am, these are the Pratyas following means in Prathama Ekvachana and Dvitiya Ekvachana, this, the Su and Am Pratyas are replaced by Adad. So what will happen here? Katara. So Kim plus Datara, you will get Katara. The scope is, I don't want to go into how Kim uh, becomes Ka. Elsewhere in Anga, Anga Desha is, is there and thereby Kim becomes Ka here. And Da here will get Datara. So Atara. So you will get uh, Kakara and then Ka and Tara. So you will get Katara. Basically, understand that it is Katara. Means, Tara and Tama we know. Tara is uh, one among two. Tama is one among more than two, means one among many. So it's a, it's kind of a, you know, uh, nirdharana. Nirdharana as to one among two or one among many. So katara will be what? That is with Kim it will be one among many. Which among? So here it will be like a question. Kim. Kim plus datara means one among two, which among the two? So it will be a question, Katara. Katara means which among the two? And not Katara, it, is, it has to be declined. I am saying Katara Pratipadika meaning will be which among the two. And Katama will mean which among many. So here, Katara plus Su. Su or Am. So you add Su or Am. That's where you start. Oh, I already done it above, sorry. Sorry. So, uh, Katara plus Su or Am, then what will you get? You will get Katara plus, 
you will get Katara plus Adud. So you will get Katara plus Adud. Dakara is its by Halantyam, Tasyalopaha. So you, what will be left with? Ad. Ad. So Katara plus Ad, what will happen now? Katara plus Ad, if we did not know any better, we will do Akasavarne Dirga and you will get Katarad. That is not the form, the form is Katarat. Therefore, he introduces another sutra. What is the sutra? Tehe. Sorry, the sutra is Tehe. So, Tehe is the sutra. Tehe is in Shashto Adhyaya Chaturta Pada. 143rd sh uh, sh uh, sutra there. Tehe Lopa Bhasya Bhasya Adhikara. So, if you go to 64143. 64143 64143 143 stay here. So stay here. What is the anuvritti here? 143 diti. Okay, diti. What else is the lopaha is the anuvritti here? Lopaha. So you see this is also the anuvritti. 145 till it goes till 145. So, Diti Lopaha. What? Bhatsya. Bhatsya goes till 175. So, that is also there. So, main adhikara is Bhatsya adhikara. From 129 to 175, quite a large range of sutras. Bhadikara or Bhatsya adhikara. So, Bhatsya Angasya Diti Pare Lopasya. Tehe lopasya, kasya, angasya lopa, if you say, then allopaha. So, last letter will undergo lopa. But bhasya angasya, diti pare, kasya lopa bhoti, tehe lopa bhoti. And what is T? Tehe is shashti equation of what? T. And T we have studied earlier with a lot of questions also you have studied. So, tehe shashti equation of bhasya. Bhasya tehe, so bhasya tehe lopaha syat, lopaha syat, but we will add diti earlier, so diti pare lopaha syat, diti pare. Now here adad, that's why it is dit, so diti pare only, not all times, bha should be there, which should be followed by a dit pratyaya, ad is a dit pratyaya. Therefore, Tehe Lopasya, T is what? Achontyadi T. Achontyadi T. So, we are having Katara plus Ad. Akasavarane Dirga would have given us Katarad. But Adad being Dith Pratyaya, Katara being a Bha. Katara is a Bha. How is Katara a Bha? Katara is a Bha because because of it being in Napunsaka and Napunsaka therefore Sarvanamasthana. So this is Sarvanamasthana. Su. Su is a Swadishu Asarvanamasthane Padam. But here it is what Shi Sarvanamasthanam. So this is what Asarvanamasthana. It is Pada. Initially it is Pada. But uh, Swadishu Asarvanamasthane Padam Yachibham Yakaradi and Ajadi. Now this is Ajadi Pratyaya. So Ajadi Pratyaya Pare, what will happen? This will become Bha. Yachi Bham. So this has become Bha Sanyaka now. So we will say Yachi Bham here. Bha Sanyaka. And then what will happen is that Tehe Lopa Bhasya, because it has got Bha Sanyaka now, Bhasya Angasya Tehe. Diti pare lopasya, other diti, diti pare pratye pare lopasya, therefore t. Now, what is t? Achon tiyadi t. Achon tiyadi t. So, t is that that set of letters which follows and includes the last vowel. Antyach, starting with antyach. So here what is the antyach in Katara? Katara the antyach is sorry. Oh. 
स्लो डाउन सो हियर वॉट इज दंत्यच हियर दिस अ विच फॉलोज हियर कतर सो दिस अंत्य अच कतर सेपरेटेड आउट कतर सो स्टार्टिंग विथ दिस स्टार्टिंग विथ दिस दिस इज द लास्ट लेटर सो अ इट सेल्फ इज टी सो टे हे लोप सैत सो टेर लोप हियर टे हे भस्य अंग से टे हे लोप से सो अकार लोप विल हैपन दिल यू एट कतर प्लस अद सो यू गेट कतर रद कतर रद एंड देन कतर रद बाय संधि सूत्र सो देर फोर बट ऑप्शनली ऑप्शनली देर फोर यू विल गेट कतर रथ एंड कतर रद दीज आर दी टू फॉर्म्स एंड देन वॉट हैपन्स विथ कतर प्लस औ अगेन यू विल टेक शी आदेश एंड देन कतर प्लस शी अगेन यू विल गेट फाइनल यू विल फॉल बैक ऑन गुणा बिकॉज हियर वी हैव सीन हियर अर्लियर नपुंसक झल नॉट नॉट हियर सॉरी शी सर्वनामस्थान जस्ट शोषी इवन बिफोर दैट ये च इज निगेटेड बाय बाय ओंग दिसच्य आल मेक इट एज लाइक अ सूत्र पार्ट ऑफ सूत्र एज इफ सो ओंग श्याम प्रतिषेधो वाच्य वेन शी इज फॉलोइंग दैट टाइम यू शुड नॉट डू डू अल्लोप बाय ये च देर फोर इट विल फॉल बैक ऑन गुणा एंड यू विल गेट कत रे कतर प्लस औ कतर प्लस ई एंड देन कत रे बाय गुणा यू हेव टू यूज दर्टिका टू से दैट देर इज अ निगेशन ऑफ ये च वंस दैट इज डन वॉट इल हैपन सो हियर वॉट इज इसे डिति भस्य टेर लोप डिति डि प्रत्यय परे भस्य अंग से टे हे लोप सो कतरत कतरत विच इज वॉट वी डिराइव हियर एंड देन कतरे कतरा सेम एज अर्लियर हे कतरत शेषम पुंवत एवरीथिंग एल्स इज पुंवत सो एवं कतमत सो इंस्टेड ऑफ कतर कतम कतमत इतरत इतरत अनदर अदर अमोंग दी टू सो अदर अमोंग दी टू अन्यत अदर अमोंग दी टू अगेन अन्य तरत अन्यत सो अन्यत इज अदर अन्य तरत अन्यतम से तू अन्यतम सो हियर देर इज अन्यतम इट इज नॉट पार्ट ऑफ दैट एनी वे इट इज नॉट पार्ट ऑफ फाइव अन्यतम इट इज नॉट इन्क्लूडेड इन समथिंग दे आर टू लिस्ट विच आर मेन्शन देर फोर दिस हेज बीन डिराइव फ्रॉम बाई दी बाय लघु कारा ही सेड अन्यतम विल नॉट हैव दैट कैंड ऑफ अ डिक्लेनशन एज इन इट विल नॉट बी लाइक अन्य लाइक दिस अन्य अन्यतम नॉट अन्यतमत सो इट विल नॉट बी लाइक कतमत इट विल बी अन्यतमत It will be anyatamam. Not an. It will not be anyatamat like katamat. It will be anyatamam. So katara plus au. Uh, I already mentioned this, so I'll just quickly go through. Katara plus au. She then she, content is e because lashak ko tadi the tasilo pa katari katara plus e and then katare because aunga sha pratishodho vachya thereby negation of. ये भस्य अल्लोप एंड देर बाय गुण फॉल बैक ऑन गुण कतरे कतर प्लस जस कतर प्लस शी कतर प्लस ई बिकॉज लशक्त तदीते तस्य लोप अगेन सेम थिंग बट हियर यू विल गेट नुमागम कतर मिदचोत्यात्पर यू विल गेट नुमागम बिकॉज जस इज देर इन जस्ता एंड देन कतरा कतरा इन बिकॉज इट इज सर्वनाम स्थान जस मीन जस इन नपुंसक शी सर्वनाम स्थान एंड दैट इज शी इज वेर जस शशो शी सो जस शशो जस एंड शस विल बिकम सर्वनाम स्थान इन नपुंसक एंड बीइंग नपुंसक यू विल गेट दी नुमागम वार्तिका वी मार्ग इन दी सूत्र पाठ एक प्रतिषेधो वाच्य और वक्तव्य सो वॉट इल हैपन हियर हियर Sorry. Let it be ekatram. So uh, what will happen here is uh, pratishedha vachya. Therefore, ekatara will not take 
this uh, other dam and it will take um some more napun sakat will be applicable just like this anyatama therefore ekataram it will decline like ekataram so what are the forms in these because these are uh, sarvanamas also therefore they will decline like sarvanamas so you will get those uh, sma smas smasmin smasmino you will get smasmina ityadi therefore like uh, uh, in the shashti in the chaturthi ekochana shashti ekochana you will get those type of forms so how will it decline katarat katare katarani and then second line is same in napunsaka second line is just like first line so katarat katare katarat or katarad katarat katarad katare katarani katarat katarad katare katarani then katarena third case has no change so like ramena katarena or not ramena napunsaka will stick to napunsaka jnanena jnanena jnanabhyam jnanabhi so here again jnanena jnanabhyam jnanaihi similarly here you will have katarena katarabhya kataraihi but chaturthi you will get uh, it will not be like like jnana but here you will get sma therefore you will get katarasmai therefore it will be katarasmai katarabhya katarebhya and then katarasma sma will go in panchami also shashti also uh, sorry, uh, Panchami also and Saptami also, Katarasmin. So, Katarasmat, Panchami, Katarabhyam, Katarebhya, Katarasya Katarayoho, Katareshaam. There again you will get not get Katarenaam, you will get not get Num, but you will get Katareshaam. And Katarasmin, Katarayoho, Katareshu. So, Chaturthi, Panchami, Saptami Ekvachana and Shashti Bhuvachana, there is Sma or that Sa, Sa will be there. Just like Sarvanam, Sarvanam, Sarvanam na Smai. And then, Nyasignyo ho Smaat Sminav, thereby you will get in Panchami and Saptami and in Chaturthi Sarvanam na Smai. Shakti Bhavachana Sarvanamna Sut. So Sut, Sa is that Sut, Sarvesham. So Sarvesham, like Sarvesham, here Katareshaam. So these are the sutras which will be applicable. Just a uh, reminder, just a refresher rather. Raswa Napunsake, Pratipadikasya is the next sutra. Raswa Napunsakasya. Pratipadikasya, Napunsake Pratipadikasya, Raswaha, Prathama Ekvachana, Napunsake, Saptami Ekvachana, Pratipadikasya, Shashti Ekvachana, 1347. So, 1347, first chapter. One three forty seven here, oh, not 1347, sorry. 1347 there, okay. Here it may be different. It can't be in the first chapter. I think uh, there is an error there. What is the... Does anyone know the sutra there in your book? One two forty seven. yeah. I think it's 1247. Yeah, thanks, yeah. So, 1247. Here it is marked wrong. One two forty seven. So here it is. So Raswa Napunsake Pratipati Kasya. What is the Anurutti? First you look at the Sutra, you should look at the an Anurutti. I don't think anything is needed. Raswa is very clear. Uh, napunsake pratipadikasya raswaha. So if it is not raswa, if a napunsaka, if a pratya, supratya follows in the sense of napunsaka. So su is in the sense of napunsaka. Au is in the sense of napunsaka. 
सो नपुंसक प्रत्यय पर प्रातिपदिक से हस्व सी प्रातिपदिक इज रियल एक्चुअली स्ट्रिक्टली स्पीकिंग देर इज नो अनलेस यू कन्वर्टेड यू कैन नॉट कॉल इट एज अ प्रातिपदिका इज इन अ पर्टिक्युलर जेंडर दी सु प्रत्यास विच आर एडेड इन अ पर्टिक्युलर जेंडर दे मेक इट मेक दी शब्द है नपुंसक स्त्रीलिंग और ए एस पुल्लिंग बिकॉज इन स्त्रीलिंग ऑल्सो वॉट हैपन्स इन दैट सेंस वेन यू एड दी प्रत्यय देन यू हैव टू कन्वर्ट दी प्रातिपदिक टेकिंग अ स्त्री प्रत्यय सम स्त्री प्रत्यय इज एडेड टू मेक इट दीर्घ इत्यादि सो नपुंसक प्रातिपदिक ह्रस्व सैत एंड वाइड विच इज दर्ड एक्चुअली विच इज दी वर्ड दैट ही इज डिक्लाइनिंग हियर सो श्रीपा श्रीपा इज दी वर्ड दैट ही वॉन्ट्स टू डिक्लाइन वॉट इज श्रीपा श्रीयम पाति श्रीपा वन हू प्रोटेक्ट दी वेल्थ इज कॉल्ड एज श्रीपा सो ही वॉन्ट्स दिस प्रातिपदिक विच इज आंत हियर वीस अंत अकारांत ना ही आकारांत दीर्घ बट दीर्घ प्रातिपदिक वेन यूर डिक्लाइनिंग इन नपुंसक वॉट हैपन्स इट विल टेक ह्रस्व अनलाइक इन विश्वपा सो विश्वपा डिक्लाइन इन पुलिंग विदउट एनी Uh, any such raswa raswa adesha here in if it is napunsaka first he says you make it raswa so shripa will become what shripa that is the idea shripa plus su will become shripa plus su by this sutra raswa napunsake pratiparikasya i don't think there is any anuvrutti let me just cross check hmm. yeah no anuvrutti first chapter so unlikely that there is अनुवृत्ति सो अजंत सो अज ओके देर इज सम अजंत अनुवृत्ति शुड बी देर देन वाई अजंत बिकॉज ह्रस्व इज सिटिंग देर सो देर इज नो अनुवृत्ति बट ह्रस्व इज सिटिंग देर राइट ह्रस्व देर बाय वॉट विल हैपन हियर यू विल गेट अजस्ट सूत्र इज देर दैट सूत्र यू हैज एन इफेक्ट हियर एज वेल देर फॉर अजंत ह्रस्व के नॉट बी एन आदेश पर रहते ह्रस्व एंड दीर्घ प्लुता ह्रस्व दीर्घ प्लुता आर एप्लीकेबल ओनली टू अच टू अ वॉवेल देर फॉर अजंत देर बाय श्रीप प्लस सू विल बिकम श्रीप प्लस सू श्रीप ज्ञानवत ज्ञानवत हियर वत इज वते प्रत्यय विच इज लाइक ज्ञान द वे ज्ञान शब्द डिक्लाइन सिमिलरली श्रीप शब्द विल डिक्लाइन Once it has become hraswa, first you make it hraswa. Everything else is same. So Shri Pam, Shri Pe, Shri Pani. This is the understanding that we will get till now here. Now he introduces another sutra here. So Shri Pa plus Su, whatever Napunsaka Jnanam we have derived. Look up those sutras and you will get Shri Pam. What is the sutra? So more Napunsaka, so more Napunsaka, Su or Napunsaka, Shri Pa iti angat Napunsaka. Su and am are replaced by am, so you will get Shri Pam. How some more napunsaka? That's the sutra here. Actually, we have not done this. I am here, so here he brings in this sutra. Some more napunsaka. Some more napunsa. Some more ho. Shasti diyo chena. We saw this anurutti earlier. Sorry, so we saw this anurutti in our earlier here. Swamoho here we saw the anurutti. So this sutra is what this swamoho is anurutti in seven one twenty five. And the sutra that we are looking at now is what okay. It hanged for a while. It hanged. So seven one twenty three here. If you go to seven one twenty three. Seven one twenty three. Here, some more napunsakat. Some more who has anurutti from this sutra till twenty six, and we saw twenty fifth sutra just a bit back. This other datra adi bhya pancha bhya. So that some more who anurutti there goes from this sutra. Some more napunsakat. So I thought that the sutra is done. 
So Napun Sakad goes till 24, Samoho goes till 26. Here, what else? Here, what do we have? 23rd Sutra. So look, look is the Anurakti in this Sutra. Shadbhyo look. We have seen this Sutra. Shadbhyo look. So look is the Anurakti. We'll add that here. Look. Look is the Adesha. What is look now? Does anyone know how the recall, not know? What is look, look sutra to define what is look? Anyone? What is low paha? Anyone remembers? Does anyone remember the Lopa sutra? What is definition of low paha? Please reserve Tuesdays to look up the sutras we have done. I, I am hoping that although we cancel the uh, Tuesday class till further notice, I may take a class when I get time. When I can take a class on Tuesday, I will announce earlier and I will take a class. Otherwise, please reserve that slot for revision because if Lopaha Sutra you do not remember, then Sandhi Sutra, when you go to Hal Sandhi, it will become more difficult. Because all these are needed, all sutras, Sandhi sutras are needed. If you know the Sandhi, it's okay. Sutra you don't remember is okay, but then you should know how that Sandhi came into being. Because there is apavada in the sequence, because especially it is in, uh, the Hal Sandhis are in uh, Tripadi. So sequence is important, otherwise you will land on a different form, a wrong form. So, Tripadi sequence is important. When we go there, we will have to remember with the sequence. And in this case here, if we do not remember Lopa Sutra, what is Upada? Uh, so, if we say Upada Dirga, where will you do Dirga? So, Paribhasha Sutras and Sanya Sutras, no exception. Sanya Sutras is like what, what uh, our Swamiji used to say, 2 o'clock question. At night, 2 o'clock, you are woken up and you are asked. You should not here rub your eyes, who is there, all that. You are woken up. What is Upada? The Sutra should come. Lopaha, what is Lopaha? Adarshana Lopaha. The Sutra should be readily in your mind because for Sanya, there is no, absolutely no excuse for not knowing Sanya. Sutra, you don't know, I can understand, I don't remember. But meaning, if you have understood, you cannot forget. That is the understand difference between learning by rote and learning by uh, uh, by understanding. If you can remember and re uh, understand the meaning well and good, that is the expectation. But then, for some, for at our age, it may not be possible for everyone. So we will say that we understand the meaning and move on. Because many people they remember the sutras, they don't know the meaning. For meaning, they have to refer to laghu. Unfortunately, with laghu, you have to look at the meaning and many sutras. You have to look at the vritti. With Ashtadhyay it is not true. Ashtadhyay you look up, you know which Adhikara, if you know the Sutra number, you remember some section. You Even if you don't know, you will get some basic meaning. If you have the Sutra Padha, just look up that Sutra and you will get the meaning. Most of these books have the indexes in the end. Or at least by, I, have, I have given you the reference of the book also. It is there on the uh, list as well. Please buy that book. Don't uh, use uh, online copies. Online copies is fine. If you are used to it, then use the uh, use the dictionary, golden dictionary with the uh, installed uh, this thing. But there is no no reason you should not have Ashtadhyay in your hand. It will give you Kunya reading that Ashtadhyay book through the book, Saraswati in your hand. So Ashtadhyay book, in the index you can look up the sutra, go to that sutra, look at the Anuvritti, make up your own Vritti. This is the mechanism. See, we, are at, we have studied almost 250 sutras. I am sure I have mentioned 4-5 sutras which we may have not studied. So, we have studied almost 250 sutras. 250 sutras later, if we don't know how to make uh, an anuvritti, then I have failed. If, if you don't know how to look up anuvrittis and vrittis, I am sure you know. But you should practice. You should open the book and try to work any sutra. Just pick up any sutra and look up. Look up. Try to look up Anuvrittis, add them and see if the meaning comes out from the sutra. That is the purpose of the study, at least that is how I want to teach. I don't want to depend on, uh, I don't want you to finally depend on Laghu Vritti. 
you should be able to see and understand the sutra from Ashtadhyayi. Because what is our prayer? What is our prayer here? Our prayer is Lagukara's prayer. What is Lagukara's prayer? This is the prayer for study all right. Sharada, uh, Dhyana and prayer. Vande Tam Parameshwarim Bhagavatim Buddhi Pradam Sharadam. That is our prayer, general prayer, fine. But what is the Laghu prayer really? Natva Saraswati Devim. Having done this, what does he do? Bhagavan Lagukara says, Natva Saraswati Devim Shuddham Gunyam Karomi Aham Karomi. King Karomi. Shuddham Gunyam Saraswati Devim Natva Aham Karomi. Kim Karomi. Lagu Siddhanta Kaumudim Karomi. The Srishti of Lagu Siddhanta Kaumudim. He is making Lagu Siddhanta for what purpose? Tadhartya Chaturti Paniniya Praveshaya. If we don't do Paniniya Praveshaha and we stick to Lagu all the while, it is not good. That's why in the first part, even before the first part, the Bangalore, the, the Kaksha Vidyarthis know that in the ashram, when I was taught there, there I have taught with Ashtadhyayi. What was taught in, on the board was all Ashtadhyayi. That is why we have marked Adhikaras. Those who have not marked Adhikaras, please mark Adhikaras. Read through Adhikaras. If possible, read with the Sutra number so that you know which chapter, which section. And if you remember, this, if you look up the Sutra, you know the number, some Adhikara will come to mind. Otherwise, Adhikara will show up on its itself. So, if you know which Adhikara, what is the Anuvritti, most of the Sutra meaning is understood by just looking at the Sutra Patha. Vritti is not needed at all. For details, you look up any Vritti, whether Kashika Vritti, Prathama Vritti, Laghu Vritti, Siddhanta Kaumudi Vritti, all these Vrittis are, actually will make sense only when you understand Ashtadhyayi through Anuvritti. It will help a lot. Anyway, so that is a detour. Uh, so, what is look now? So, Adarshanam Lopaha, then Pratyasya Adarshanam Lopaha. What Adarshanam Lopaha? Pratyasya is Anurati there. Pratyasya Adarshanam Lopaha. That, that is what we know with Lopaha. Lopaha Syat means what? Adarshanam. Pratyasya Adarshanam Syat. Lopaha Syat means Adarshanam Lopaha, basically. And then Pratyasya is Anurati. Further, where it is what? Where it is? Pratyasya Lukshlu Lupaha. So Lukshlu Lupaha there, Pratyasya. So Lukshlu Lupaha, Pratyasya Adarshanam has an Anurti there. So Lukshlu Lupaha is Pratyasya Adarshanam is called as Lukshlu or Lup. So Lupsyat, Lukshyat, Lupaha, Luk, Lup. And then shlu, all these are adarshana. So samoha napunsakat luksyat, kasya luksyat, su iti pratyasya, am iti pratyasya cha luksyat. Luk means adarshanam syat. So luksyat is adarshanam syat. Therefore, vari plus su, what will happen here? Or am, su or am in prathama ekvachana and dvitiya ekvachana. Su and am will undergo luk, means they will undergo luk. Adarshanam, therefore, they are there, they are there, but they are Adarshanam, Adarshanam means what, when you are chanting, when you hear, when someone speaks, one cannot speak Vari and this effect of Su, so you cannot have Visarga there, it will be Vari, because Su as under Adarshanam means, based on the Indriya, you will not hear, so one will not hear, so I think somebody is, yeah, please don't, I mean, there is a pop-up on chat. Stick to the class, please. Don't need to answer anything here. Answer the in the class itself, in the class chat. Not on WhatsApp, please. Okay. Is everybody able to hear me? Yeah, okay. So, I, I, I thought that since... Yeah, Kalyanji, please don't write anything on WhatsApp right now, please. Don't even look at WhatsApp. I'm assuming that everyone has closed that. Anyway, okay. So, look, Syat, Vari. So, Vari, Vari, what will, Vari plus Su, Vari plus Am, you'll get Vari. Here, so, uh, Vari is what? Here, water. So, Vari, when you decline Vari, it's a Napunsaka. 
Shabda and Napun Sake, what will happen? Haraswaha, earlier we saw, but Vari there is nothing to do Haraswa there. So we have to think whether Haraswa is applicable. You can apply that sutra also if it is needed, otherwise it will be said as Parjanyavat. Water falls even if it is wet. The rain falls even in wet areas, not only in dry areas, but otherwise Haraswa is not applicable here because it is already Haraswa. But we started this Shripa with that, Shripa, there Haraswa is applicable, Shripa becomes Shripa and it declines entirely like Jnana after that. So there is no change, so that here itself the word is covered with one single Sutra. If you have studied Napunsaka, Akaranta declension, Akaranta is done with one Sutra, Hraswa Napunsaka, Hraswa Napunsake Pratipadikasya. Then Swamor Napunsaka applicable all the way here, Su and Au. Uh, su and um will be replaced by, will undergo look, not replace, we can say replaced by look we cannot say because although look is the adesha, if we don't know adarshanam, pratyasya adarshanam, lukshlu lupa, then we will say look is the adesha means what, it will be replaced by look, but look is what, not replaced by look, you cannot say now vari plus equal to vari plus look, it is vari plus nothing, zero, therefore uh, it is not heard. Adarshanam means it is not heard here. So, you will get vari. This is a declension. Look, syat, therefore you got vari, prathama ekochana and dvitiya ekochana. Ekochi vibhakto. Ekochi vibhakto. Ekaha achi vibhakto. So, ekaha. Ekaha shashti ekochana. So, anga adhik. So, uh, here saptami, uh, saptam adhyaya. Achi pare. So, you can say igantasya, angasya, achi pare meaning ajadi pratyay pare vibhakti and in vibhakti vibhakti is both thing and uh, thing is also vibhakti and sub is also vibhakti so here vibhakti but in sub we say prathama vibhakti dvitiya vibhakti saptami vibhakti sambodhana vibhakti but in thing and we say purushaha prathama purusha madhya purusha uttama purusha but still there also vibhakti scha sutra is there vibhakti scha thereby vibhakti is a sanya given to Thing pratyas also. Vibhakta upare igantasya angasya achi pare vibhakta. What is the adesha? 7173. I'll take a few more minutes. 7173. Here, ikochi vibhakta. Ikochi vibhakta napunsakasya. Sarvanamasthane ends at 72. So, it does not come here in 73. So, this, this is the idea. You look up the sutra pata. Look at Adhikara, Anga can be assumed even if it is not there, Num goes till 83. So, Num here, you see 83, what is our Sutra? 70, uh, 73, so 83 is uh, much later, so here, here you have Napunsakasya, Sarvanamasthane is not there, Napunsakasya, Angasya, Igantasya, Napunsakasya, Angasya, Achi Vibhakta Upare, Aja meaning Ajadi Vibhakta Upare. Tadanta and Tadadividi should be very clear. Kim syat? Num, a, num agama syat. Krito num dhato. From here num prakaranam. Num goes till 83. So from 58 to 83. Num is the agama. All the way from 58 to 83 sutra. So if you know this num and with makara as it you know it as myth. So it should automatically trigger vidha chontyat paraha. So, num is not an adesha, it is agama and what will happen? Napunsakasya, angasya, napunsakasya, igantasya, angasya. Ik is what? E, u, r, r. So, from the, is the pratyahara, expands to e, u, r and l. So, ikah, igantasya, angasya, napunsakasya, igantasya, angasya, achi, Ajadi Vibhakta Upare Num Agama Sya. This is our Vritti just by Sutra Pata. And we have been, I have been doing it this way. All the way, almost all Sutras I have done this way. Now you look at Laghu Vritti. What is the Laghu Vritti? Igantasya Klebasya. Instead of Napunsakasya, he says Klebasya. Kleba and Napunsaka, same meaning. Klebasya Num Achi Pare Achi Vibhakta So he just taken Vibhakta Achi from here. And num, num is uh, 
Num is the Agama Napun Sakasya. So with Napun Sakasya and Ikaha together there will be Tadanta Vidhi. Vibhakta and Achi together there will be Tadadi Vidhi. Num is the Agama. So Igantasya, Napun Sakasya, Klebasya, Num, Syat, Achi, Vibhakta, Pare. Therefore, Vari plus Au, Au is a Vibhakti, it is a Ajadi Vibhakti, so these two conditions are met. Vari is Ikaranta, therefore, Iganta condition is met, it is an Anga and it is a Napunsaka Anga, so those conditions are met. Now, Au will take Shi Adesha, because Aunga Shi, we have seen, so Shi Adesha, Shakara is it, Lashakatta Dite, Tasselopaha, so Vari plus E. Therefore, Vari, Vari and this Num Adesha, Ekochi Vibhakta will give you Num Agama and then Num will be after the last, last vowel. Vidha Chon Tyatpara, therefore Vari Ikara itself is the Vari Ikara, last letter itself is the last vowel, therefore Nakara will be their Varin. You will get varin plus e, so you will get varini, varini and then natvam by rashabhyam nona samana pade. There is nothing else in between, actually there is varin, so refa is the nimitta. Nakara is sitting there, ikara is sitting there, so therefore second sutra after that. Not rashabhyam nona samana pade because it is not immediately following, but this nakara here, between Refa and Nakara, there is Ikara. Ikara is sitting there, so it cannot take Natvam. I said, no, also this Nakara is not immediately after Refa, although it is written this way in Sanskrit, this Ikara, which is this, uh, actually Ikara is here, right? It cannot be written that way, but if you split it, it will be Vakara, Akara, Refa, Ikara and Nakara. So, Ikara is sandwiched in between Nimitta Refa and Sthani Nakara. So, Rashabhyam Nona Samana Pade Anurutti goes to the next sutra which is Atkup Vangnu Yavayepi. So, Atkup At, Ikara is part of At Pratyahara. So, At Pratyahara Antaragata Ikare, uh, when Ikara is sitting there, Atkup Vang Yavayepi, Rashabhyam Nona Samana Pade. It is in the same Pada, therefore it will take Natvam and you will get Varini. Similarly, just Vari plus she, Vari plus e, then same sutra. Here, Chutu, then Lashak, uh, Chutu and then Tassilopa, Jashasho she, then, uh, sorry, Jashasho she, then uh, here, Lashakotadite, Tassilopa, Ikara, Vari plus e, then Varin plus e by Ikochi Vibhaktu, then Varini will become what? Varini by Swarini, not Varini, Varini. Because here you, uh, this this ikara now, since this uh, nakara is here, here what will happen? It will take dirgha. It will take dirgha. We'll see this. We'll uh, see this dirgha next time. Because why dirgha was not there earlier? Here there was no dirgha. Here there is dirgha. We'll see this in the next part. Huh? We'll stop here. I'll I'll take this up again in the next part. Huh? I'll just mark it as a. So that I don't move further, I'll mark it with some color. So let's say orange. We'll come back to this. Nirta vasani nataraja rajo nana jatakano panchavaram udhar tukama sanaka disidhan eta dvimarshe shiva sutra jalam. Any questions? So please uh, block your uh, Tuesdays, don't think that there is no class, we'll, in fact uh, today I just wanted to recap and go a little slow, but uh, it will move a little faster, I have, uh, if you look at the sutras also, I think I have already done uh, quite a few sutras I had already worked on, I have done Padacheda Ityadi, so if you look at it, uh, in fact, uh, 
I have already gone till 250, not 250, 249 I have done. So, we could have completed this also. I did not want to suddenly jump and do on the first day finish all the sutras here. But we will pick up pace and uh, I have shown you the process to go to Ashtadhi and do it. So, even if I do not do it, please on Tuesdays at least go through the sutra patha, see the sutras and see whether these, uh, how these vrittis are formed. See, Laghu Vritti, how did Laghu Kara learn? Laghu Kara learned through Kashika Vrittis. How did Kashika Kara learn? All this is from the Sutra Pata. This Sutra Pata, Sutras themselves mark the Anuvritti. Swarena Adhikaraha, there is a Sutra, Swarena Adhikaraha. The Swaras are lost in the Sampradaya. Otherwise, earlier, even the Anuvrittis and the demarcations wouldn't be taught. It would not be there because it would be in somebody's uh, Matihi. It is contest the and from the uh, demarcations by the Swara change there is demarcation of the Adhikara. Then with that Adhikara marking now that uh, Adhikara is marked in print using that Swara change and then in the Sampradha it has, was marked and that is why we have this Anuvritti mark. These Anuvrittis are marked by uh, Swaras. These are not there in the books, it, this is added additionally. Otherwise, if you, these are not part of the sutras. You can't buy heart it as Ugi Dacham Sarva Namastane Dhato Sarva Namastane 72. You cannot do that. So, Ugi Dacham Sarva Namastane Dhato, we have to understand. Sarva Namastane goes till 72 and then Napunsa Kasti Jalacha. If we know the Adhikara, if we know the Anuvritti, from the print, we can understand the Vritti. Otherwise, all this was not there. We have so much of help available in the Sutra Pata itself without even memorizing anything. We can just open the Sutra Pata. So, I have shown you how each Vritti made by us directly looking at Ashtadhyayi uh, maps onto the Vritti in Lagu. And this is true of any Vritti. That is why Ashtadhyayi, if you study, you do not need Vritti really to get the basic understanding. Then details are there in the in the vrittis. Okay, please spend time on Tuesdays. Reserve as much as possible. Please reserve Tuesday that slot we had for the class for studies. Thanks. Namaste.